Hello friends, so let's talk about the Qi and Yu charts. For example, consider a circuit board manufacturing process. A circuit board is an, an uh, elaborate arrangement of many electronic components, so it can have many different devices, such as missing, missing components or inaccurate distance between uh, components. Instead of categorizing each board as defective or not defective, we want to count the total number of defects on each individual board. So how do we monitor a process whose items have more than one defect, uh, defect per unit? We can use C and U charts to monitor defects on a unit. If our subgroup sizes are equal, we use a C or U chart. Otherwise, if we have an uh, unequal uh, subgroup sizes, we uh, monitor the process with uh, a U chart. <clears throat> Both of these charts di display count data, such as the number of devices. This type of data is characterized using the Poisson distribution. Here are the assumptions for the Poisson distribution. Let's explore these charts in detail using defect data collected from the circuit board process. So first, we'll create a C chart. Suppose we sample 100 circuit boards each day for 19 days and count the total number of devices in each sample. The result is 19 subgroups uh, of size 100. In the first subgroup of 100 boards, four devices were found. So there were four total devices in the sample uh, of 100 boards. This is the first, the first point on our C chart. In the second subgroup of 100 balls, there were one total device, so this is the second part on our C chart. Continue this for the remaining subgroups and connect the points. The mean of the 19 values on the graph is 2.684 is called C bar. So we draw the center line at this value. Now we add the control, control limits. We draw the upper control limit at 3 sigma limits above the center line and draw lower the lower control limit at 3 sigma limits below the control line, uh, center line. So here's a formula to calculate the lower control limit and upper control limit. Okay, and we have the lower control limit is zero and upper control limit is 7.599. Okay, so we were able to plot to plot a C chart because our subgroup sizes were equal. We can also look at a U chart which plus the number of devices per unit. For example, in the first subgroup of 100 balls, there were four total devices or 0 0.04 devices per board. So this is the first point on our U chart. We continue this for the remaining subgroups and connect the points. The mean of the 19 values on the graph is 0.02684 and is called U bar. So we draw center line at this value. Now we add the control limits. And here's the formula to calculate the upper control limit and lower control limit. Okay, and here's our lower control limit and upper control limit. So we are done. 
vessel less review, C and U charts are used to monitor the number of defects in a sample. C charts can be used when the subgroup sizes are the same. U charts can be used when subgroup sizes are the same or different. Thank you for your listening.